I'm Brenda Upright with Film Utah Magazine at Sundance 2011, and I'm sitting down with Treat Williams. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. Let's talk 127 hours. The nominations came out today. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of a film that got six Academy Award nominations. It's been a while since I've, you know, I mean, I, I, I call my, my role in it a don't blink moment, but uh, <laughs> uh, if Danny called again and said, I want you to play the waiter, I'd say sure. You know, yeah. it's a, he's a, a great filmmaker, and my attitude about films is, you know, if there's a great film, you want to be a part of it, just go do it. If he calls, just go. And uh, it's not really about choosing the great roles. I think this was something I had to do. Um, but I think it's great for James. I think he worked very, very hard. Uh, what I'm particularly uh, happy about is that it shot Utah for Utah. And that's a billboard for, for, for the state. Um, I discovered, I have to admit, I'm, I'm sort of embarrassed about it, but after six or seven years, I was working steadily, but I didn't really, hadn't really discovered Southern Utah. Really? No. I had not been, I'd been, th I'd been through, and I'd sort of, you know, momentarily looked down from my aircraft at it, but I didn't really take time to go to Canyonlands or the Arches. And when I went, I was astonished. And it's just majestic down there. And I fell in love with another part of Utah, you know. Uh, but what's great about the film is, you know, Blue John Canyon is here in the state. All this is shot exactly where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Unlike Everwood, where, where, which made people think, gee, I'll, that looks pretty. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll go to Colorado. <laughs> uh, in this case, I think it's wonderful that, that uh, this will be, I think, really helpful for Utah. What do you think of production in the state now and going forward? I think that one of the things I've noticed is I've shot all over the world and I've been shooting in the states that have the, uh, the, the ability to shoot cheaper and, and, and some of the other states. What Utah has is such great depth of experience that there could be three or four films shooting here and you don't start losing talent as you, as you make more films. There are enough crews, there's so much talent, there's such a depth of talent here that uh, for instance, I'll give you an example. Danny Boyle, I think, is probably makes the most complex films mm -hmm. in terms of the cameras he uses. I didn't even know where the cameras were. There were so many cameras. And the, the intensity of his filmmaking. And he had two full crews out of Utah working at the same time. So I, I think there's, there's enormous depth of talent here because people have been shooting here for so long. I think the state uh, has a great deal to offer in that respect. Now back to 127 hours, that brought a lot of exposure to the state. How mm -hmm. do you think that's going to help us going forward as we come to the, the legislature? Here's something I think that is important for, you know, last night, for instance, we were at the dinner for the Creative Coalition and one of their great, uh, 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 what, they, what they're trying to do is to maintain the arts and education. And I think one of the things that's missing in Utah filmmaking is that we're not uh, bringing up filmmakers mm -hmm. and writers and directors and actors and if we don't if we lose the arts in the high schools and the colleges here if we pull back on that too much I'd like to see Utah not be a place where Hollywood comes to make movies I'd like to see movies come out of Utah mm -hmm. now we do have the infrastructure of crews but we're almost like this receptacle for these people who have these talents to come and make movies and then take that product out of the state I think we should create the product in the state. There's no reason why uh, Salt Lake and Utah can't be a Hollywood of the Northwest. There's no reason why except for the fact that we need a couple of films that are actually written and directed and produced out of the state and be competitive with the Hollywood films that come in. There's no reason why we can't do that. We have all the infrastructure and all the talent here. So my feeling is, is that we begin to nurture good screenplays with good directors and excellent uh, uh, DPs who all live here and start making small movies here, you know, that, that come out of the state, rather than just being this kind of place to work. Mm -hmm. Treat, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm Brenda Upright with Film Utah Magazine. Thank you for watching.